I'm not much of a sales guy, so what I did is I took the engineering aspect of this and, and we looked at it, we took some pictures and we figured out, you know what, what if we do something about this cage? What if we uh, make it more mobile? What if we could take it and, and you know, run with it without the assistant? So here, let, let's open it. Let's see what we got. We think more and more, you know, in the field today, the budgets just aren't there to have a system. So Matt and a team of mad scientists at Pro Media Gear. And Tony. And me. Made a cage that is not only practical, it's affordable, it's easy to assemble, and it's extremely useful in the field. You take this cage as it comes in, you literally drop this over your existing unit. It comes in with some Allen wrenches. One of these is just for you to position that stud. You could t put it in a couple of different locations, but we'll talk about it a little bit later. So what you have to do is you unscrew this. It'll take a little bit of work, I'm just kidding. You literally get this off. The cage, CNC'd out of high grade aluminum, comes with two pivot points. They're gonna lock into the original positioning areas on the loops that are designed on the Allen Chrome battery pack unit. And it's gonna go right inside there as a pivot point and you can use your standard strap that you already have from Allen Chrome on our part when it's all done and assembled. Yeah, and you know what? And uh, if, if you're actually doing this at home, I, I'll tell you to take these out first. Loop this in, align the pivot with a slot, and you screw that in. Don't screw it down too tight until you get the other one installed because you'll start to cantilever. Yeah. On this cage, we've got multiple quarter 20 holes. Comes with one 5.8 stud adapter. That stud adapter is going to allow you to put the light right on it. It's going to let you use it as a kicker light or background light. Also comes with a couple handles. And they're big enough for an actual man's hand. They're not little handles. So you can actually grab it, get in there. I'll let Matt show you when he's done tightening that up. So you can get your fingers underneath the pack. Actually get your whole hand in there, or at least a couple fingers, securely, but yet lightweight. So we didn't add any any real weight to the pack. We got a lot of quarter 20 options on here. We make a lot of accessories. Matt can explain a couple of the features. Yeah, you know, I mean, not so much of features. I think Tony covered all of it, but I mean, this reminds you of your big pack. Now it's super cool. Now here, we have a couple of different accessories. So this is what really makes this a super product. So look, now I'm hands free. Absolutely. I don't have any straps on me. Yeah, I got a super pack. You can go in the Ready. field, you can just carry it like this, and then maybe you want your light head on there, you just go in the field, you use it on a light stand. Yeah. You can also do a couple different things. We make a great flash bracket, the Boomerang Flash Bracket series, that works fantastic, that now you can take all this power and you can shoot an event, a wedding, Look at that. senior portraits outside. There's so much you can do with the power pack. So much power. We've got a couple different options from the sphere here that's gonna go into that holster that Matt has on. Also, we've got a little thing that can go on a stand to hold it. It's gonna keep it off the ground, keep it out of the elements, you know? Um, also, you've got a couple other rigid mounts, get more of the stand adapter top mounts for the uh, light. And you've also, because of this cage, can quickly and easily take that battery pack off and change it while you're in the field. Quickly and easily, and still never really get it dirty. You don't want to have to go ahead and lay that down in the wet grass, in the mud, in the dirt. This pack is portable, it's extremely affordable. You're going to take it on longer hikes, you're going to be able to take it in some situations where you want to kick ass a lot of power. All right guys, we're out here just behind our shop. We got some nice trees, we've got a model with us today. We're gonna to show you a couple scenarios how two professional photographers can have two totally different setups and perceived value of photography. In this corner, I'm gonna have a nice camera. I'm gonna have my D750, I'm gonna have my Allen Chrome pack, and that's it. We're just gonna kind of show you that like what gear a normal professional might have and kind of the struggles that somebody might fall into. And also you get that perception of value where you walk into a client, I'm a professional, I'm extremely creative, and I walk in, the first thing somebody says is, Oh, that's a great camera. I've got that camera too. I love taking pictures of my kids with it. You look at their photos, they still stink, but they have this perception that what they're paying you isn't worth it because of the quality of the gear that you're holding. Um, and Matt over here, he's going to explain a little bit about what he's rocking. Well, you know what? I'm all about gear. So it, it, you maybe not know me, but uh, to me, the first impression is super important. So uh, when people see me and see my gear first, that's how they're going to judge me. And I want to make as good of an impression and if this could help me at the end to take better shots more power to us and notice we need a model right we go ahead. where are we going to get a model hmm. in front of our shop i don't know how do we do this how are we going to show it whoa -da. Ta -da, betty's here so here we'll open this up guys yeah what do we have we have a pack i will let them use my frame 
Okay. I could have on the Allen Crump strap that comes with it. I'd put that over my shoulder. Just my power. So why don't you just work with the light? Let's see, you know what? No. Let's see how you're gonna take pictures now. Let's see what you're gonna do. Is I gonna be doing this all day? So here's what I can do, okay? Uh, we have a built-in stud that's gonna mount on our holster. Oh, I don't have it on this side. I have it on that side because I've got camera on this side. Then I will grab the light. I will mount it directly to my bracket. Okay? I didn't put that cord in very well. That's okay. And then we can adjust the height here. So now a flash bracket that Matt has. The Boomerang Series flash bracket's gonna allow him to keep the flash the head above the light, above the center of the lens, reduce red eye, and keep the shadows in the proper orientation. So now look, if I'm trying to work with, uh, with a model now, okay, I get to do all my natural things. I get to adjust as I go. I can rotate, go from vertical to horizontal, okay? 100% hands-free, bam, rolling. I got a couple things. It's the cords here for Matt. We do make an accessory, a cable attachment that'll take it off, or you can just wind it up once around the pack itself, or maybe twice. See what fits your style, get it out of the way. It's super yeah. convenient. And then, you know what? Here's some other things, okay? So right now, I'm gonna show you the tripod. So every, every uh, one of our uh, flash brackets or accessories comes with this Arca style plate that you can mount directly to your ball head that's got an Arca standard. So <laughs> then we have additional accessories that we can do. Okay, so we could position right Position the right light right off the tripod, and I could actually mount my pack to the bracket that sits on the unit. So now you could see me. I've got nothing on me yet. I have the light, the pack, and the camera mounted directly to my tripod, which but, makes it super easy. But being and lastly, we'll just show you the light stand and the quick feature of the pack itself. Okay. So on that cage, uh, like we were saying earlier, there's a, a sphere that we make. Exactly. A quarter twenty sphere that goes right into the pack. It's gonna lock right on here locks onto anything from 19 millimeters to 42 millimeters in diameter. It conveniently just sits there in like a nice little dish. That's gonna give you the ability now to keep it out of the elements, change the battery easy, keep the power settings at like more eye level. You can lower it down a little bit if you want for better weight distribution and like act like a sandbag. But now you've got a, just a quick package that I can easily grab this and I can just yeah. walk in the field with and manipulate for my model. And then when I'm ready, I just go ahead and lock it back down, aim my light, tighten this up and I'm ready to go. Um, we do make a rigid mount too, if you want to do more of like a lollipop setup and you don't want it to accidentally come off. This is for the quick grab and go exactly. shooter. Yeah. So here's what you can do, is you can literally take the light and use the frame by itself. And let's say I want to light up uh, our model here. Betty, thank you for uh, standing in here beautifully. So here, I could adjust it to any position. You could if you had an assistant have them even hold it. So you're getting all that power and something easily portable and affordable way to, to just keep it all together. Let's wrap this baby up. Enough of the shenanigans. I mean, the whole time I was shooting, I was on P for Professional, rocking the high quality Allen Chrome gear today, just trying to show you guys some pros and cons of our equipment, how to use it. Uh, what Matt was using today, we're just going to recap, show you a little bit. On here, we're showing our rigid mount on the cage. This rigid mount will stay on and lock onto a tube, 19 millimeters to 42 millimeters, and not come off without using the quick disconnect on the quarter 20 here. This is a great accessory if you want to like do a lollipop setup onto a monopod. The other one Matt's holding, you got the sphere, just sits in like a little dish. Also 19 millimeters to 42 millimeters, awesome accessory to hook onto a light stand or table leg. You also got the holster here. Holster is gonna take the sphere ball, drop it right in, rock the pack. Now you don't have a strap or anything, you're just using the, uh, the harness there, the holder. On here we've got our modular bracket plate, it's going to go on your camera, it's an Arca Swiss compatible plate, it stays on, we've got accessories like the boomerang flash bracket that's mapped rock in here. The boomerang is going to come with a little kickstand you can put on a table. It's also got the ability then to come off quickly and cleanly, it's got the ability to snap into a locking detent, go to vertical to horizontal with ease. It also looks awesome. It's made out of high grade aluminum made in the United States. We make a series of accessories. This uh, rosette here is going to allow you to tilt the light head back. It's going to really help with finger fatigue and just give you like a lot longer shooting possibilities without fatigue. Um, without that, you can use it. You just get the little 5.8 stud that holds the light 
We also make a five inch tall one that's gonna allow you to use some soft boxes and light modifiers. Rocking our newest strap here, the SS2. The strap's gonna allow you to go ahead and lock it into our plates. It's got hardened steel adapter hands rings. Hands free, guys, hands, hands free. free. Hands free, and I think, you know what, sorry to interrupt okay. you, but I think that's what we're trying to push. That whole idea of convenience. Let's move it. Yeah. Convenience, you know, let's, let, let's run around, let's forget these practical. extra. Exactly. Practical. So now what's great on this and strap. And it's probably like the five seconds that I let you speak for so long. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Thanks, no worries. I hate talking. Um, the best thing about the strap though is the practicality of the whole thing. You take that strap, Matt pops it off, you're clean. You're Arca Swiss compliant. You're gonna drop that thing on a ball head and you're not gonna have to unscrew anything. You're not gonna have to have something sitting on the bottom of your lens or the bottom of your camera. You're just gonna be able to lock it in, shoot, move on. The rocks. Now when he wants, within a few seconds, you go ahead and take that out of there. Come off clean. You want a little bit of a carry strap. Lock it until it clicks. Done. Done. You know, we all, yeah, gear a lot. Like our gear is refined. It's it's high quality stuff. There's a cell phone ring in. It's totally cool. Don't worry about it. And uh, <laughs> the level of professionalism here, it's fantastic. This background you know, music. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're good. Huh?